Today, an opportunity presented itself thanks to Silver Star Mercedes of Thousand Oaks. Supposedly, they have some kind of monster beast Mercedes that they need to show me and that we need to go drive. Who am I to say no? I don't know anything about it, but it's gonna be cool. The GMC Acadia was sent back and that left me with my truck. But Kathy needed the truck, so that leaves me with my son's car. Right there, 1998 Jeep Wrangler. And we bought this car in 1998 and then we gave it to our son just a few years ago. And it keeps driving and driving and driving. This thing is badass. I've owned a lot of cars over the years, and cars have problems as they get older. This car, being approximately 20 years old, so far, so good. Not too many major problems. It looks like a piece of crap, but it drives like a champ. Most of the gauges aren't working. It's making really funny noises, and the aerodynamics are for shit. But the car just keeps going and going and going, which is why we give it to our son, who is currently working on the movie Black Panther in Atlanta. So he doesn't need it, thus I'm driving it. Look at this car. <laughs> he looks good every time. It just pisses me off, man. You're well, always you. looking thank awesome. You. This is Sean Tablawi, and we are at Silver Star Mercedes-Benz, Thousand Oaks. That's right. Okay. That's right. Uh, we come out here from time to time because Sean calls me up and says, hey, we got a toy, and we need to do something with it. Oh, yeah. And and this time, you called me yesterday, texted me while I was hiking, and you said, um, I got something that's a little weird. Well, or a lot weird. Yeah. Yeah. Something special. Do you want to show me or want to tell me? I'll show you. It's better. <laughs> Wait till you it's guys. It's a green this. monstrosity. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is unbelievable. It is a very, very special edition G550. It's so four special. There's only like a couple of these in the in the whole United States. That is correct. And this very, one happens very... to be lime green. Uh, th this was special ordered by someone. Correct. In this color. In this color, yes. The guy actually ordered it in this color. Mm -hmm. This is a stock color. You know the regular G wagon. Yes. Uh, we have seen it. There's there's so, about 800 in Malibu. Yeah. Right. So this is higher by 18 inches. It's on 5'9", as my driver's license says. You're 5'9"? Yes. <laughs> you know, there's almost no words for this thing. I think we just need to go drive it. Yeah. Okay, that's great. and I'm looking at the bolster right here. Uh, all right. It's kind of like we're rolling down the street in a, uh, um, in a skyscraper. Yeah. G-Wagon, color is high gloss electric beam, 
which I, I don't even know what that means. 416 horsepower. Yep. 450 foot pounds. Yep. A $20,000 paint job, which is this electric beam paint job. The Coupe de Gras, all wrapped up in a package that costs, wait for it, wait for it, 300,000. So this car is actually sold, so we don't, we can't drive this to like Vegas or something. No, no, okay. no we gotta keep it local, keep it local. It's, the car is so much that the person that bought the car is still collecting funds right now. <laughs> There's a Lime Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> she waved, she waved. It's kind of like Godzilla, but he's wearing a like a lime green fur outfit. <laughs> There's a Miata that's right next to me, way down there. It looks like a little toy. I'd like to come across as an expert, but there's just way too much stuff in this car. And we do have a list of things that this car is made up of. Mm -hmm. It's got a four liter V8, so it's it's rather uh, peppy. Yeah, it is. You know, but it also has it has a carbon fiber package. Uh, you know, you got to justify that three hundred thousand dollar trim. So there is about eighteen pounds of carbon fiber on this car. What does it weigh? What does the car weigh? Do you know? We got to be over seven. Uh, seven grand makes a lot of sense. More than a than a uh, Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. sixty five hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, with our asses in here, it's probably a bit more. <laughs> yeah. me to drive. Yeah. I need my glasses on because this is so bright I can barely look at it. We're gonna go over to the fire station and see if we can park it next to a fire truck. We're at a, a, a secret fire department. We're not allowed to show but they're gonna pull the fire engine out so that we can compare the size of this thing with the fire engine. I, I think the fire engine is gonna win. I think it's a little bit bigger. I mean let's let's wait and see. convinced that firemen are the coolest people on the planet. I concur. We just had a blast shooting with these guys. We can't say who they were because it wasn't approved. But firemen, thumbs up, man. You guys are awesome. I've been a $300,000 monstrosity. Yep. I, I don't know how else to put it, but uh, this is quite extraordinary. Uh, this is an absolutely amazing vehicle. One of only maybe three in the U.S. And in this color, probably only one. <laughs>
the G wagon itself could climb up mountains and through walls and what have you, but this thing's just taking it to another level. So it's built in, in Graz, Austria, G R A Z, and uh, they actually test them um, right up the mountain. They they take you out. Um, it's kind of a dealer thing where they, a couple of special people have gone up on that thing. You can uh, look up the 60, 70 mile an hour on a, on a trail on the side of a mountain with a thousand foot drop off. But um, they built it by hand. Got to, got to experience it firsthand. It, it was incredible. But to watch what they call the marriage, which is when the, the chassis and the engine and, and the, everything comes together on a six by six, which is even bigger than the one you guys uh, were just driving. So we were, we're all standing there in awe. We're all been around millions and millions of dollars of cars. And there's, 30 people just standing there, jaws dropped, and watching five guys build these things and pick up like a 100 pound wire loom, which is every bit of the wires from the, the tail all the way to the front. And two or three guys with screwdrivers and a couple of other people just, you know, putting it all together. Same way it's been built since 1978 and built for every bit of exactly the way it looks. It's an incredible vehicle and it goes up against a lot of its competition and almost all of the uh, magazines and awards or videos that, that come out, they say, you know, this is refined and that's refined and the G-Wagon's a little rough and it's a little this. And then every single one of them in the end goes, but I'd still take the G-Wagon. Sean, so. that was awesome. Yes. I, I barely even have words for how cool that was. Um, we have a tan version behind us. It looks good in almost any color, nice. but this looks more like it belongs out in the desert. That one belongs on Mars. Yeah. Pretty sure. For sure. Yeah. There's a lot of dealerships out there that are selling cars in a normal fashion. Not you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. We love these guys. Having a good time. All right. Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much. sure exactly how to describe it. Amazing. Big thanks to the guys at Silver Star Mercedes-Benz, Thousand Oaks, Scott and Sean. Always a blast to hang out with these guys. I, mean, I don't know what to say. It's just people should not be allowed to have that much fun, but always grateful. Always grateful to hang out with them and to see what's new because there's there's new things coming too. Great news this week. Melba Suicide News came out. Cover article right there. Can you see that? Pretty stoked about that. Check out this picture again. There. Yeah, that was shot by Susie Demeter, who's an amazing photographer here in town. Big thanks, Susie. You're awesome. And uh, the articles was fantastic, too. Uh, Wilson Waves, catch it on. That brings me to another thing that's happening. Uh, I've restarted my new seminars, uh, the seminar, uh, How to Make Your Life a Weekend, or Making Your Life a Weekend, or Make a, you know, I don't really care. I don't care about the title. The whole point of doing a seminar like this is to go and talk to people, help them, guide them, so that they can turn their life into a freaking cool, out of control level of awesomeness that they didn't know that they could achieve. To do that is very simple. All you have to do is decide to, decide to be awesome and awesomeness builds. Here you are, sitting there, doing nothing, mind your own business. And then boom, you're driving a $300,000 lime green Mercedes. Dude that bought that car doesn't even know. Doesn't even know that I drove the car. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I got time for. Uh, well, I have more time, but uh, that's, you know, I gotta wrap things up. Thanks for watching. We can, we can only be here doing this stuff because you guys watch and you guys enjoy this and you guys support us. You know, those that leave comments in the comments section down there, thank you so much for doing that. It's good to know what you guys are thinking. What, what do you guys want? If you haven't subscribed, Try subscribing, try it out, you know, try it out for, for a couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of years. 560 coming at you. It's a hiking vlog tomorrow. <laughs>